Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. The Gospel reading for us today, the third Sunday in Advent, is from Matthew chapter 11, verses 2 through 15, the King James Version. Now when James had heard in prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and shew John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitude concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind, but what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet, for this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied unto John, and if you will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. The Gospel of the Lord. John in prison for publicly calling out the sins of Herod and his second wife Herodias. But Herodias was not pleased at all about this and eventually figured out a way to get him beheaded. John hears about all that Christ is doing while in prison and sends out two of his disciples to ask Jesus if he is truly the one that has been promised to come. And Jesus replies to these inquirers, What do you hear and see? Do you see and hear what the prophets foretold? Have the blind not been receiving their sight? What about the lepers that have been cleansed and the deaf who can now hear? Of course, these prophecies were fulfilled in Christ. The forerunner who announced his coming was actually John the Baptist himself. The prophecies of old were fulfilled. There, of course, were many who did not believe. There are multitudes even today who do not believe, who take offense at the name of Jesus. It becomes even more obvious during the seasons of Advent, Christmas, Lent, Easter. Those who do not believe become very antagonistic toward those who do, trying to secularize Christmas, secularize Christmas and Easter, which, by the way, they've done a pretty good job at it. And many, way too many Christians have turned a blind eye to it all. Unwittingly, for the most part, they have participated in the secularization of these holidays, shutting the real reasons for these holy days in second place. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us to remember the reason for these seasons, the holy days that we celebrate. Help us to celebrate in a way that we can lift up the name of Jesus during these times and at every time and place. Help us to proclaim your word, who is Jesus the Christ. Amen.